This hearty and savory pie is so easy to make, you can whip it up even through the tears of a bad breakup. The ingredients can be interchanged and substituted, depending on your cupboard and state of mind. However, it is essential to have the proper frame of mind, that of longing for the hours of your life lost drinking at bars. Here are the ingredients for the crust. 2 cups of flour. 1 stick of butter or 8 tablespoons of oleo spread. Ice water is needed to bind. And the ingredients for the filling. 1 cup of sugar. 1 eighth cup of cigarette ash. Camel is the preferred hipster choice, but Marlboro Reds should suffice. Steer clear of cloves as they are a tad elitist. 1 quarter cup of water. A pinch of cinnamon. 1 half cup of whiskey, plus 1 cup for you while preparing. 1 teaspoon of bitters, yours or store-bought. 1 half cup of finely chopped, questionable sausage. 1 half cup of finely chopped, cooked barley. 1 apple, peeled, cored, and finely chopped. 1 half cup of grated stinky cheese, the stinkier, the better, just like those empty promises he made, make crust as usual, duh. In saucepan, stir sugar, ash and water over low heat until sugar is dissolved and you can breathe. <coughs> In separate bowl, mix cinnamon, whiskey, bitters, sausage, barley, and apple. Set aside to get rank, like the feeling you get when you think of them reuniting. Pour the sugar mixture over the sausage mixture and incorporate well, at least until you feel nauseous, if not more. Just like the relationship you knew you had to end months ago. You can now put the sausage mix into the crust, making sure to leave splashes of mess over the side. Because nothing is neat about a beer fly pie. <laughs> Sprinkle with the stinky cheese and bake in a preheated 375 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the neighbors complain. <coughs> Remove from oven and cool completely. Like relationships formed at a bar, it should be lukewarm. Slice the pie and serve with regret, but preferably with self-loathing. Chin up. Enjoy.